live near Atlanta, Georgia, and honey, I'm homesick. Okay, so y'all have to my family. Hang on, brother, I gotta talk a little bit right here. You know, I'm a woman. I can change my mind anytime I want to. <laughs> yes, now who said that? I didn't call on you now. Well, I was raised in a small town in the mountains of West Virginia, the highest point near Elkins. A lot of you will say, now where are you from? near Elkins, West Virginia. My parents still live there in a little town of 300 people. I love where I come from. I love it. I don't get home as much as I would like to, but uh, next month for Thanksgiving, I get to go home for a few days. But in my little town that I am from, 300 people, the first time I took Jeff home to meet my parents, we were going down that winding one-lane road, and he looks at me and says, Honey, where's John Boy Walton? I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. So far back, we know everybody on a first name basis within 30, 50 miles. You just have nothing else to do but have a relationship with everybody, okay? The divorce rate is zilch back there because you have nothing to do but talk, okay? Well, being raised in my town, there was two churches in our town. One at the upper end, one at the lower end. We attended the one at the upper end. My daddy owns the only grocery store, mom and pop grocery store in our town. The nearest mall is two and a half hours away. My daddy loved that because I have two older sisters, so we can get to go shopping much, but now boy Jeff really makes it. I'm, I'm just, I'm going all the way. Hang on, hang on. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But in our little town, I have so many memories of where I come from. I love where I come from. I love the mountains. And kind of near they made me so homesick. I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. My little bad, I get to sing tomorrow. We're going to start a revival in Roanoke um, tomorrow. So they're going to come, me and my mother are going to come, and we'll get to visit with them for a few days. But my dad, I'm the baby of the family. Do we have any daddy's girls here tonight? Normally in a crowd this size, we have several. I mean, I'm not going to be embarrassed. Come on now, I'm a daddy's girl. And my dad, well, I don't puff my hair up too much anymore, but he stands about this, this tall to me, about like that. And he's the sweetest thing that ever walked to the face of the earth. Oh, he's so sweet. He looks like Grandpa of the Munsters. Y'all ever see yeah, him? He really does. Don't tell him I said that. Well, you know, when, when I get to go home and, and see my dad, and see these red lips, I take my red lips and I kiss all over his little forehead. And he hates it. He'll say, Susie, why do you wear all that stuff for? Well, you know, some things they just don't understand. Well, anyway, my dad, if ever growing up I needed something and mother would let me have it or let me do it, guess who I ran to? My dad. Are you with me tonight? Now, come <laughs> on. I would go to my dad and I'd say, Dad, Mom won't let me do it. Mom won't let me have it. Okay, honey. Okay. Well, at the age of 17, my sisters and I, I had two older sisters, and we were, I had been singing since I was four years old, uh, traveling basically. But at 17, my sisters and I moved out of that state um, and began traveling nationwide about Jesus. And I would get so homesick. I would get so homesick for my dad and for my mom. And I'd call my dad and I'd say, Daddy, I'm so homesick. And eight hours later, guess who was sitting in our driveway? My daddy. Well, then I, I met Jeff, and he and I got married, and we moved off to Lakeland, Florida. And I would get so homesick. I was 20 hours away from them. And I'd call him, he'd say, okay, how much do you need? And three days later, it would arrive in the mail. Have y'all been there and done that? Y'all have been awful serious way. Yeah. All I know is that if ever I had a need, I could run to my dad. Because I know my, my dad, as long as he's alive, he's going to do everything he can to meet my need. One day my mother said, honey, if your eyes leak, your head won't swell. So I'm going to take her up on it tonight, okay? Y'all just cry with me. <laughs> oh, I have so many, many good friends. Jeff and I, he is my best friend, basically. But sometimes there are just some things I can't call my daddy now, and I can't call my friends about. But you know who I can run to through those storms? My father God. And I run 
and I get up on his knee, and I say, Lord, this is what I'm going to do. Oh, and he already knows it. He already knows it, even before I go to do. Through every mountain we climb, you can go right ahead and play that, brother. Every valley that we go through, my Father God is there for his child. My God walks the dark hills.
Well, I...